What up, what up, it's Julian Gordon here and uh, got another video for you. Um, this morning I decided to uh, drop my car off at the mechanic. Um, not I decided, actually decided for me. The engine light came on and I take full responsibility for that, for not taking it in for the regular checkups that it was due. Um, and uh, the lesson in that for me is that, you know, it's easy for us to start things. A lot of us uh, get things off the ground. We get started, right? Whether we're starting a relationship, a marriage, whether we're starting a business, whether we are still launching a book or starting a podcast or starting a mastermind, um, whatever it is, it's easy to start things. And a lot of people focus on the start of something. But where the real hard work is, is actually the maintenance, right? The maintenance is where the real hard work is. And so when people come to me and they're like, I'm starting this, I'm starting that, and they don't talk to me about the actual maintenance plan of it, they then I know that that idea probably will not live because it's not just the start. Yes, the start is important. If you don't start, then there's no opportunity to maintain something. But it's actually the maintenance where most of the energy is. And so maintenance in a marriage, what does that look like? That looks like going to marriage counseling prevent, uh, uh, preventatively, right? Not just going to marriage counseling after there's an issue, after the engine light, right? Um, you know I love vehicle metaphors. After the engine light in your marriage comes on, um, it's actually going to marriage counseling on a consistent basis, right? What is the maintenance of your body? That means exercise and eating, um, eating right and eating for energy. That's actually maintenance of your body, right? You were given this body. It was, it was something that uh, was formed out of nothingness and all of a sudden now you have to maintain it that's the actual hard part what does maintenance in a business look like it looks like actually doing quarterly evaluations yes you can go get an LLC and, and a name and copyrights and um, get a website up but how do you actually maintain that business how are you going to evaluate the success of that business so that you can make strategic decisions about the future of that business and so we get so caught up on I'm starting this, I'm starting that, I'm starting this, I'm starting that and the reason things don't grow is because we don't have a maintenance plan for it. Um, so I'm just going to take that in, to heart. Whenever I'm about to start something, I'm really going to ask myself, what is going to be the maintenance plan for it? Not the, not just to maintain it at where it's at, but maintenance to make it last long and to cause it to grow, right? Um, for a business that looks like quarterly evaluation, for marriage that looks like marriage counseling, for your body that looks like exercise, um, how are you going to maintain whatever it is that you're going to start? You should be thinking about that from the beginning, right? Not waiting until the engine light comes on to decide, oh, I need to go do something about that. Because oftentimes when the engine light comes on in a uh, business or marriage, it's actually too late by that point in time. And so uh, didn't plan on doing this. As you can see, I'm just in a t-shirt. I was planning on dropping off the car and headed back home. But um, I think it's a big lesson and insight that maintenance is actually more important than the actual starting of something. And a lot of us get so caught up in the sexiness of starting something that we forget how important maintenance is. Starting is the 20%. The 80% is actually the maintenance. Anybody can go get married in Vegas right now, right? You can go down to the courthouse in Brooklyn right now and get married. But how are you going to actually maintain that? You can go start a business right now. But uh, how are you going to maintain that business over time, right? So um, just wanted to share that uh, as you are starting whatever it is that you're starting because we're always starting something new we're always evolving think about the maintenance if we would have thought about maintenance in the past perhaps some of those ideas that we originally had um, that may have died out may be still with us today and so think about maintenance um, whenever you're starting something think about maintenance from the beginning right how do you integrate maintenance into your game plan from the beginning I guarantee it'll cause you more long-term success all right much love everybody peace